What's going on guys, one more thing breaking out a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington football nation. Now today's video, uh, obviously it's not going to be a game recap because we didn't play this weekend, it was a bye week, which I hate bye weeks players as well as for uh, as fans, I know for the players they probably love it, but I don't know about this year because they can't go anywhere. But uh, this game week, we got the Giants coming up, but we're not talking about that today, we'll talk about that Friday. But what we're talking about today is the trade deadline. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. is the trade deadline. You already seen today. There's been a couple of trades with the Saints and the 49ers when they traded um, Quan Alexander to the Saints for Kiko Alonso in the fifth round pick, and the Chargers traded Desmond King to the Titans for a sixth round pick. So those are the two trades that happen today, and expect much more to come. Um, yeah, so we're right in the thick of it. We're right in the thick of the conversations for several players right now on our team and trying to acquire from another team. One of them, obviously, is our star franchise leading defensive end, Ryan Kerrigan. A lot of people like uh, that he requested a trade. From what I have heard, um, that's not true. He hasn't requested a trade. Uh, he knows his role has been diminished. But uh, I mean, yes, there's probably some. This part of him is upset with that, but he is loyal to the team and loyal to his family, and it, he calls the team his family, and he wants to remain loyal. Now, after this year, when his contract expires, you know he might be let loose, but um, he has not requested a trade from Washington. Although we do know, I believe the 49ers were calling about him and a couple other teams, but. Um, I, I can say with 100% posi positive, and people are going to run with the story anyway, that, that he has. Um, from what I, from the information I have gathered, he has not requested a trade, so get that out of your mind. Cool. All right, another player on our uh, defense that is in talks is Ryan Anderson, and I can see this move being done. Um, he has shown sparse, but he hasn't really taken off. And he's really not going to get a whole lot of playing time when you got the likes of Davis, Thomas Davis, Montez Sweat, Chase Young, Kerrigan, and Nate Orchard, now who's, produ who's produced also. Oh, did we cut Nate Orchard? I can't remember if we cut him in the last couple weeks. But um, in the D line, he doesn't have space there. You know, there's not a whole lot of room for him to produce. And it's better for him as a player to get out for the trade. And um, I believe that uh, he will be let go after the season if not traded um i think his contract's up after the season but i think i think he's been around for a while love the guy he's a great guy but um you know it's better for us better for him if we just move on from him instead of it being a constant question with him is he finally going to produce um we can just go ahead and answer that and be like all right let's go ahead and get him out the way and hopefully it goes on to to a team where they have more spots for him where he can produce make plays. I think he's fully capable. He's from Alabama. We know how the Alabama players produce. And we have a bunch of them on our team with um I'm I just blanked. Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, and there's a couple of others on there. So yeah. Uh it's a it's a it's kinda of sad to see him good because I think as Washington fans we wanted to see him produce, but I think it's better for him and um he might not get moved. He might stay on the team, but just know that that might happen. Now this, now this next person I'm gonna talk about can be a shock. It's not really a shock to me because um, his agents and uh, he he's, he he um, has said to the team he'll welcome it. Uh, Dwayne Haskins, the guy who was our starting quarterback at the beginning of the season, the guy that the whole team was putting their back behind to start the season, is in trade talks and would welcome a new home and a fresh start on a new team. I think that'll be best for him. Um, Dalek Smith and his injury. I, understand why we were trying to raise the price to keep him a little bit but I don't see it's getting a whole lot for him because he hasn't produced that much and he shows promise uh, Kyle Allen is the answer right now and I think they're kind of looking at the draft next year and see what that happen what will happen with that and um RG3 is actually might be a free agent this year and I would be interested to see if we were to give him another shot because why not I mean he's been sitting there with Lamar, and I think, and Lamar's been giving our a lot of props. I mean, why not give him a shot? Or just work him out and see what happens. But that's a long way from now. But uh, Kyle Allen's a star, and Alex Smith proved in that game against the Rams. 
sloppy game um, overall, but um, he showed that he can take a hit, stay in a pocket, and make plays. So, although our O line was given the opportunity to make plays, he has proven that he ha still has the ability to go out there and produce. So, I think that's enough for the um, coaches to be like, all right, we have Alex as a, as a good backup, and it could be a shaker where Kyle Allen come to back up. As I'm sorry, we had to lose a couple of games. Um, hopefully, it doesn't happen anytime soon. But um, I think they're happy with that. And I think they would um, be okay with moving Dwayne for a pick because um, draft picks are always good. And I think it'd be better for Dwayne to be on a new team instead of one that's it's like, yeah, we're, we're trying to find something for you, but it's kind of hard kind of thing. It's like, we want you, come on, let's work, let's develop, let's help you develop and um, get a whole fresh, new fresh start. So, uh, um, hope the best for all these players in the situations. Now let's talk very quickly about players we're going after um, that I've heard, uh, and I probably will miss a few, um, mainly it's receivers. Um, we are in talks with the Texans about uh, Will Fuller, a very speed receiver, something to alleviate some of the pressure off of getting the ball consistently to Terry McCorn. It'll definitely shake up how defenses play against us and Terry McLaurin will probably get a lot more catches and Will Fuller will get a lot of catches. Um, Texans are shopping everybody except for, for J.J. Watt, Deshaun Watson, and I think one other player on their team that they're not shopping. But um, everybody else is like, if you have a deal, let's show them. And this could be a, a situation where um, I think we might pull off something in the next day or two. I know it's us and a couple other teams, but that's so we can pull this off because Will Fuller would be a great add as a deep threat and just a great overall receiver. And um, we'll be getting Sims back hopefully soon. So that'll hopefully um, get us some more targets too. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember exactly how much in the trade talks he still is, but Bears receiver Allen Robinson, um, if the Washington doesn't look into that, if he is being traded, that's absolutely bonkers. Um, they need to be looking after him. Because he's a very good receiver, even yesterday against the Saints. Um, that kind of that game. Oof. Um, first ever boxing match in an NFL game, so might as well pause for that. But um, yes, yeah, so hopefully we're talking to him. And I know there's a couple other players that we're talking to. I don't want to start spitting names and it be the wrong name, so I'm not going to. But there's just a few names to look out for the next couple of days. For the next day, um, basically we got 20. To 26 hours until the trade deadline, so the time the clock is ticking, time is going down, and uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a crazy couple of days with our team and other teams around the league. So with that, I just want to say, the last night's game against the Eagles and Cowboys, I had to stop watching it. It was the saddest football game I've ever seen. The Eagles won, but I wouldn't count that as a win. That was the most pathetic thing of football. I've seen in my life. But anyway, hope you'll have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that bell button to be notified every single time up with a brand new episode to Washington Station. Thank you all for watching today. Uh, make sure to comment down below your thoughts. And just as another note, it is no longer October. It is November. We're in the last two months of the year. So that means it is Christmas time. And if you're like me, because I just want to say this in a video, because, you know, why not? Uh, you, if you're like me, you are now spinning your Christmas records. I got my Frank Sinatra one at Walmart the other day. I got me a, so, yeah. Got me a record player, so we're going to start playing that. And, yeah. For, some, for anybody that says it's too early to play Christmas music, it's not. The pastor said yesterday that it's not weird. So... It's completely normal if you want to listen to Christmas music. All right. And with that, with your Christmas wishes, if you're writing a list to anybody, make sure to put down somebody wins on Forsaken Division because, oh, my gosh, somebody has got to win it at some point. Please be honest. Put Redskins. If you don't have the ornament that says, uh, Dear Santa, I want the Redskins to win the Super Bowl, uh, get it because uh, anything helps in this in this fight because, woof, our division's mess. So have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. I'm a Morrison. I'm out. Peace.